This is a follow-up from a previous video I made on the NetBots 250 using this uh, pinoutguides.com uh, little spec sheet on the pinout for this. Uh, this is the NetBots 250 uh, rack mount device if you haven't seen the first video, and it's an environmental monitor for use in uh, data rooms. Uh, the 250 is sort of like the basic one you'd use in a, a you know small mid-sized business or you might use in a single rack. Um, you can expand this to multiple racks, so I suppose you should re rephrase that. This this works, I guess it would be kind of across the board. You, I've seen this used in large enterprise to the same exact model. Anyhow, uh, so you have resistors you can plop in it, and you'll notice right now I have my sense wires to tell it what type of sensor it has shorted out. Uh, for temperature sensor, the resistance was listed as 0 to 0.4. Um, so I've got those shorted out, and then I've got my, my sensor leads connected to a thermistor, not a thermocouple. I was curious what it was going to be. It's a, it apparently works great with a, a 10K thermistor. And over here, I've had it running all night, but you can see we're at, you know, a uh, proper temperature reading and everything else. So this does seem to be working quite well. So what that means is if you want to make one of these cables, um, you'd only need two pairs of wire. So you could put two temperature sensors on one cable. Uh, if you wanted to use <clears throat> the uh, the sense lines properly, so I would run this all the way to the end with your thermistor, so that if there is a cable cut or some other damage to the cable, in theory, your sense lines would show open and it would show a disconnect on the sensor. So this kind of adds an extra pair to say, hey, you know, I'm I'm alive, which is what the resistors are doing too. That's why I wouldn't put the resistor at the end. I'd put the resistor at the or the plug end. I'd put the resistor all the way at the end with the sensor, so that when it checks resistance, um, it sees that there's a connected sensor. And if something happens to the cable between point A and point B, uh, it knows that it's lost connection to that sensor because the resistance is not what it's expecting. Anyhow, so if you need a temperature sensor, cheap 10k thermistor, dead short on the sense lines, uh, has as indicated by this hilarious little pinout. Uh, from that pinout guide. I'll link that in the in the description. So just a follow-up video. Uh, temperature sensor, if you want to build one, they're apparently super cheap and easy. You can get these things on Amazon for crazy cheap. So uh, anyhow, have fun.